once again, shout out. I love reacting to Chiefs' Ed. He be bringing all of these, like, stories. Like, and, and I be having to react to it, man. But y'all got to see this. Y'all got to see this. Joe Serpy 2, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chiefs' Ed. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. I caught my wife of 12 years cheating on me. Here's how I found. 12 years? Hell no. Till the no, no, no. Hell till the no. Out. No more wasting time. Let's get it. So the, for the past few months, I had that feeling that there was something going on. Like there was another person. Mm -hmm. So I always try to, you know, get a hold of her phone and try to find out about the password so I could like check it and see. I always ask her, hey, how come you don't tell me your password no more? You didn't care about it before, now you care about it. She's like, oh, well, because you're supposed to trust me without me even showing your phone, this and that. And Red flag. Oh, hell no. That is a red flag. That would just raise uh, red flags in my right. book. And right. I was like, okay, well, if something's going on, you're going to get caught in my mind, right? So the day came this Sunday afternoon, around 3-ish in the afternoon, and she went to walk the dog here in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I happened to be that I wanted to take a shower. I go into the or restroom in the master restroom. Uh, I go in the restroom, lock the door, and then someone here trying to get into the shower. I hear like a phone, you know, like a video, YouTube video on on the phone just going off. I'm like, whose phone is it? At first I thought it was my daughter's. And then I look around and I saw her phone there. I'm like, wait a minute, her phone is here, and it's unlocked. It's the time. Put that screen of the video to the side, and then I clicked on her messages, and I found the conversation she had with this one guy, and I went through the text. They old lovey dovey here talking about I miss you, this and that. Yeah, have a great workout, this and that. So I'm pretty sure this guy she met him at the gym. I don't know. She's she's telling me a different story, but by the way, he said she met him at the gym. Three most common places people find somebody to cheat with. Can you guys guess? Just 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 guess right now. Um in your mind. And I'm gonna tell you. Number one, the workplace. Number two, gym. And the third one, you could probably guess this one. Social media. All right. Infidelity rates in women spiked when they entered the workforce. That's a fact. The simple fact of the matter is when you put when you put men and women together, somebody's cheeks are gonna start getting busted. I'm sorry. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> somebody's cheeks are gonna get slaughtered. You start putting men and women together, and you see you can even see it in his face. Look at his face. If you put men and women together anywhere, somebody's cheeks are going to get absolutely flustered okay so is it gonna be your wife i'm just saying it's part of the reason why a lot of successful men right it, it ain't just about oh i want to be the one taking care of you wanting to be wanting to pay the bills it's also knowing that the more the more people around your woman the more influence she can be and she can somebody can influence them cheeks right up out of them pants Let's get back into the story. I don't believe nothing she says no more. But long story short, next thing you know, as I'm going through the text messages, she's knocking on the door. She remembers she left her phone. She's like, man, I'm screwed. Mm. Knocking on the door, and then I'm like, what? I'm using the restroom. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm using the restroom. She's like, open the door. I'm like, wait, I'm in the restroom. She's like, Duh -duh -duh. she found a way to open the door. She opened it. Yeah. And then she's like, give me my phone. I'm like, who's Rob? She's like, give me my phone. And I'll tell you, I'm like, no, who's Rob? And then I give it to you. Back and forth, back and forth for a few seconds, and then uh start going through her pictures in front of her. And I saw her pictures of her naked that she had sent to him. And that's what I said, this is it, bro. This is nasty. This is, this is nasty. You don't even meet, you don't, you don't even send me pictures of you with a lingerie or you naked showing your chest. Oh. Oh, hell no. Your woman doing something for another man she don't even do for you. Oh my God! Oh, that's hurtful. To me, and you're sending him, you're sending this picture to this guy. Damn, damn, that's nasty, bro. That's when I said to myself, "This is it." I did told her, "You're a, you're a, you're a." That's what you are. That's what the book says. That's that's what you are. You're married, and, and you're sending pictures to this guy and talking about this and that, and that's how I got to her phone just to answer your question. Just thinking about it gives me a sour taste. <laughs> yeah, very unfortunate story. You know, by the way, he's telling the story. Hold on, and I've got one more this. video. That I found out that there was actually something going on. 
Let's check it out. So let me tell you three things that helped me notice and helped me find out that there was actually oh something going on my, God. my ex wife. Hold on. What was that? Was that, uh, I think I had, uh, what was that? I missed it. Oh, I just gained a follow. I'm sorry. I didn't even, I didn't even get to see who that was. I, I thought I had to, but shouts out. Appreciate the follow, mystery person. That's not even supposed to be freaking sound that goes off. What that was about. That uh, let me, for me to find out that, you know, she was cheating on me. Number one, password on her iPhone. In the past, throughout the years, we had a 12 year relationship in the past. I always knew her password. She always would just tell me what her password was. She will remind me what her password was. At this given point in the last six, seven, eight months or so, uh, she wouldn't give me her password. Her phone will always be locked. Anywhere she went, her phone will be with her. And I will ask her for the password. She wouldn't give it to me. She would say that, you know. See, that's the one thing that I've noticed about women. Like when a woman really, 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 really likes you and really, really want to be with you, she's ecstatic to make sure you know and understand that she don't want nobody else. So it's like you don't even ask for the password to her phone. And she'd be like, yeah, the, pass to, the password to my phone is such and such. So when all of a sudden she's like, oh, no, nah, like she changed the password. Oh, yeah, that's a big red flag. Because of the work she does, she works in, you know, insurance. The work she does, she always needs to go ahead and reset a password every week because of the system, because it's not, this and that. Metalopoly says, look up the word trifling in the dictionary, and there's a picture of uh, that dude's wife. <laughs> and I know that was BS. That was a lie. <laughs> Second sign. Listen, you should definitely always have access to your woman's phone, as in you should be able to get in there. You should. Let's keep listening. That, that I noticed was or personal alone time. And you know what I'm trying to say when I say personal alone time. That that means me and her in our room, bedroom, to do the things that a couple, a, a married couple does, you know? I mean, sex, be together. It was different. It was different on the way that she was always tired. She was always, mm. you know, I'm always Ooh. sore from the gym. My Not the gym. Oh, she's sore from the gym. She should oh the gym. my God. My back hurts, my leg hurts. I can't move my legs, this is not, this is not, this is not. My back hurts, she says. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Oh, did she say her back hurt? Oh, oh my God. God. No. <laughs> Isn't that? It was always, always, always an excuse. Even on the weekends, all the time. I'm not saying we wouldn't be together. Yes, we would from time to time, but it was different. It wasn't the same. It's like, I'm trying, you're not, you know? So that's definitely the number two thing that I noticed that that will give me hints, you know, to let me know that there was another person in yeah. my life. And number three, easy and simple. I need to meet friends. I need to make new friends. I need to go out. My, my, my girls from the gym, my girls from here, they want me to go have a drink with them. Uh, they want to just have a girl's night out. Uh -uh. Uh, they want to mm -mm. go to the bar. No. Nope. Mm -mm. um, she would tell me, Javier, you two go out with your friends, go have fun, entertain yourself. Oh, hell no. Uh, freedom. Oh. This and that and that. And I'm like, I don't need to have freedom. I don't need to go out and have fun. I mean, if I need to go out and have fun, which is nothing wrong with it, but I'm a married man, I want to go out and have fun with you. Okay, so. Married couples do married couple shit. Do not. I know that. I, oh, shit. Hold on. My, let me fix my audio now. I know there's this whole red pill thing and everybody like the girl, the girl nights out and stuff like that. It's a big conversation. Do not let a woman fool you into letting her do the whole girl night out thing. Married couples kick it with married couples, period. Or at least long-term relationship couples. Couples go and do shit that couples do. Like couples go on couples uh, uh, vacations. They go to like, you know what I'm saying? That's what couples do. This idea that you like, and I tell any woman I'm with, I'm like going on vacation. I'm not trying to go on vacation with you. If I'm going on vacation, I'm going on vacation with my boys. And best believe if I'm going with my boys, I'm going to be a hoe. I'm just keeping it in a bean with you. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm in a relationship, I'm not going to do that unless I'm planning to cheat. So this whole idea that you finna be out with your friends and they single and they drunks and they do cocaine and all that whoop de woo it, Now we can go and find some friends that are in relationships like us. 
nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. It's I insane. have to say this. This, guys, this right here is why it's so important to set expectations and requirements. Yeah, so, yeah. Expectations and all that. We'll do what we, we, yeah. But, yeah. Um, got me bent. Uh, Metalopolis says um, that could have ended badly for her. Lucky the, the guy did, uh, didn't get violent. It's happened a million times. Some guys do that. I don't condone that, but some guys do that. They'll go off the deep end. Hold on, guys. Just stop. Mm -hmm.